Hi friends, from order 14 onwards, we have got a spreadsheet tool to generate regular reports based on the database that is automatically updated. So using this tool, you can improve your business by inserting data uh, from reports to a spreadsheet. And now in order 15, we have got a lot of advanced options for our spreadsheet tool. So you can install a spreadsheet module from Odo apps. So here we can find uh, related modules. You can see the document spreadsheet. So you can manage uh, documents as spreadsheet. And Odo also provides spreadsheet templates uh, for accounting and CRM. So you can install those modules from here. So now let's see how we can make use of the spreadsheet tool in order 15 CRM module. So in the CRM module, we have got a lot of reports. Here you can find those reports. So let me open this pipeline analysis report. So here we can view the business opportunities and analyze them. So this pipeline analysis report in CRM helps to analyze the performance of sales team and salesperson. So managers can constantly monitor the team's performance in order to help to take accurate and relevant decisions for the company. So here we can add required measures for the report. Like if you want to view the expected revenue uh, opportunities in different stages, uh, then here, if I switch to pivot view, you can find a pivot table where you can find the uh, expected revenue, expected monthly recurring revenue for opportunities uh, in different month. So here we can uh, view those measures. And if you want to add more measures, like uh, if you want to check the probability of winning these opportunities, you can add that here. Uh, here we can find the probability then prorated revenue, recurring revenue, then days to close opportunity, then you can view the automated uh, probability generated uh, by Odo, then count. So after adding required measures to the report, uh, here we can add filters, like, like uh, if the user only want to view his pipeline, we can use this filter, then based on creation date, then if you only want to check the one opportunity, you can choose that. Then we can group this report by salesperson and sales team. So here we can view the salesperson and sales team added. So you can check the expected revenue, uh, expected MRR and probability, then days to close for all the teams. And you can also view the performance of your salespersons. So after adding the required uh, details, here we can find a button to insert this report in spreadsheet. So when you click on this, you can choose an existing spreadsheet that is already created, or we can uh, create a new one. So when you click on confirm, you can see that spreadsheet created, and this can be seen in documents module. That is, we can manage the spreadsheet inside documents module. So here we can find the details added, uh, We can change the report name. So here we can change the heading uh, size. Then we can find a lot of uh, styling options like we can make the text bold, italic, and we can change the text color. Then we can fill cells with color, we can add borders. And here we can change the alignment of text. You can see each cell is controlled by a formula. Uh, here we can uh, view that. So the data is fed from backend of Odo. You can see the code used to generate the value. And uh, here you can see the expected revenue for Michelle Admin. In new stage is 91,475. 
So here when you right click on the cell, you can see an option to view all the records. So you can find the opportunities. And here we can find expected revenue of each opportunity. So this gives a total 91,475, which is shown here inside the cell. Now here, if you have an expected monthly recurring revenue for the sales team sales, you can set value like Thirty thousand. Now here, if you want to update this total, you have an option in order fifty that is to find some using short key. So you can click on the cell and click on all plus. So this can be used to find the sum of the column values. Like uh, you can see the total monthly recurring revenue is updated as thirty thousand. Now let me select a portion of this report. Like I want to uh, with expected revenue, expected MRR, probability, days to close and count for opportunities under new stage for these sales teams and sales persons. So I can click on this insert and click on this chart. So now you can see here, this shows a uh, graph view. And from here, you can choose the chart type. So by default, you can uh, view the bar chart view. Uh, like we can analyze the opportunities uh, by salesperson and sales team for opportunities under new stage. So here, if you want to view line chart, you can choose. And if you want to view pie chart, that also can be chosen. So here we can find the data series that we have selected. And you can add designs. change the design position then you can choose the background color so you can insert charts to your spreadsheet easily using these two so here you can use this to separately analyze a certain portion of the report. Like here you can concentrate on the uh, opportunities that are, that are newly created. Here under proposition stage, you can view the probability of winning these opportunities. So if I choose this column and right click on it, we can find an option to conditional formatting. So here we can add rule and like, uh, Format cells if is less than 50. You can add formatting by setting some conditions. So here you can see these values are below 50. So these are given color green. Now let me again right click on this and change the condition. Uh, and if you want to change the color, you can just click on this. So you can see the color is updated. Then, then you can make the text bold or change the color of the text. Make it underline, then italic, then strike through. And here we can also use the color scale. Then here we have icon sets. So you can give icons uh, to the values in columns. So here let me choose a set, then we can see the condition like if uh, in this case the probability if it is greater than 52 then green color will be given set it as number then if it is greater than 48 yellow color will be given. Otherwise, it will be red color. You save this and here you can see 
So using this icon, we can easily identify the opportunities with higher probability and if there are opportunities with very low probability. Then now in order of obtain, we have an option uh, for real-time collaboration. So users can uh, collaborate, multiple users can log into the same spreadsheet and they can work in collaboration. So right now we can see there is only one user using this spreadsheet. So in this case, uh, you can see Mr. Edmund is working on this report and if Mark Demo came and works on this spreadsheet, this user, Mr. Edmund, will be able to view on what data uh, Mark Demo is working on. Now, if I open documents, and here we can uh, filter documents by spreadsheet. So you can find the newly created PRM pipeline analysis report. So we can manage spreadsheets from documents module. Then it's possible to share and download the sheet and we can uh, replace it with a different one. So now, now here we can also find a list view for this report. Now here, when you come under favorites, you can find an option to insert this list in spreadsheet. So here you can choose the number of records. So you can add first, insert first 10 records of the list. And if you click on confirm, you can see a new spreadsheet is created by adding uh, the details shown in the list view. So that's all for this video. And if you want to know more about CRM pipeline analysis report, you can uh, just check the link above. We have done a video on that. And if you want to know more about this, or if you are looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, you can drop your request to odoo.cyprocess.com.